so this year is coming to an end and unlike last year this month we are going to finally experience the progression update for the people who don't know the main lead developer of the wild west has came forward and declared that the progression update could possibly release in july or august and for the people who live in their mother's basement july has already ended meaning we can finally witness a long awaited progression update after the long wait well ladies and gentlemen like the title and thumbnail promised here are six things that you must do before the progression update releases starting with money imagine you are a starter in the wild west now tell me what is the most important objective that a starter needs to do in order to progress in the game well some of you might say weapons horses items but to afford these things it requires a large amount of money you need money for everything in the wild west from buying a dog from the store to several million dollar items in the auction house it all requires a common thing money the progression update is no different you will need a large amount of money in order to unlock every single progression item and the scary thing is that you don't have much time left. High Ridge is going to most likely release it during the 20th of August to the 30th of August. And I ain't some fortune teller that can pinpoint predict when they are going to be releasing the progression update. But I can with guarantee say they are going to add a lot of items that could be purchased with money. So your primary goal before the progression update is to grind 50 to $100,000 in game. You know, I've been very fortunate to have a loyal audience that would donate me their whole inventory of items just because I asked. I can easily ask one of my loyal viewers for some money and, and then and there I would go from a person that has poverty next to his name to a player with wealth. You on the other hand isn't fortunate like me. You must grind to gather money for the progression update alone. And luckily for you, 8 months ago I created the best grinding strategy in the wild west. With this strategy, you are able to get $40,000 per hour. So in just 2 hours, you'd be able to reach a pretty wealthy state in the game. And by this, you can afford a good amount of general store items in game after the update. Now that you have money, you should search for ways to have fun in the game. Which brings us to our next point. The purpose of playing a game is to escape reality, to enjoy something you like. So why not, instead of playing alone, you play with friends online or real life? You could you not understand, in the time of release of the auction update, I had no friends to play with, no factions to raid with. I had absolutely nothing. That is one of the reasons why auction update wasn't as fun and memorable like other updates. Now I mostly play the wild west with friends. A clear example would be the last update. Me, Nightmare and EK thought we were the smartest kids in the wild west and we spent hours trying to discover treasure chest locations and overall had a great time fighting and exploring together. The progression update will add 10 times the content of the treasure hunting update. I will personally be playing the progression with Nightmare most likely every day. Just remember this, playing alone is far more dull and boring compared to playing with good friends and you can also get help from them in grinding. Well being honest, there's most likely going to be some hard quests that will take you several tries doing alone. But if you have friends to look after your back, you can freely go in with your all with confidence. That's why you should try to be a bit more sociable and make some friends you can play with. But what are you going to do if you and your friend are struggling to do a hard mission. The most common answer would be searching online for easier methods and tricks on YouTube. Well, I'm here to help you. I know it might seem like self-promotion, but I'm just going to be fully transparent. You can't do everything on your own. That's why YouTubers and influencers like us exist. You can easily search on YouTube whatever problem you're facing and, and instantly in a few minutes get a typical easy solution. I've helped hundreds and thousands of players through my videos. The best grinding method, the best loadout, the best weapons guide, the best treasure hunting guide, consistent tutorials and news on upcoming updates. I've published them all. So if you actually want the best content on the progression update, make sure to subscribe. It is general sense already that the progression is going to be a quest dealing update. Per quest, you'd get EXP and with EXP, you can level up your character. But what quest should you target first? Which brings to our next point. The progression update will have a variety of things you can level up, some being hunting, mining, justice, outlaw. Personally me, I plan what I'm going to level up first in the progression update, which are outlaw, sidearms, primary, militia. I am most of the time a broke guy roaming around forts, quick switching. So this fits my playstyle in game. To find out what you want to level up, you should typically level up the thing you are most experienced at. If you are a player that wants to have fun with friends, try brawling them for level. If you are one of those players that would hunt someone for the $5 bounty, go for justice. 
If you're a guy who always has a hand in slaughtering a town, go for sidearms and primary. If you're one of those kids that always robs the bank, rob players, and even have the confidence to rob the train for $200, go for Outlaw. The list goes on like that. Figure out what you're good at and try to level up your character on that. At this point when I'm recording this video, the progression update has not released. So you can only pre-plan the update. Plan everything you'd want to do at first when the progression update releases. You can follow each of the following steps shown. But can you guess what I've missed? Yup, it's the weapons. The progression will add several never before seen weapons in the game. But you should at least start the progression with a good loadout of your own. I've created several loadouts on my YouTube channel. One fairly new one being the cheapest loadout. If you don't want to spend a big chunk of your money on guns, you can watch my cheapest loadout video, link in the description. But if you want to make a loadout of your own on the current guns, check out my weapons guide. This will give you a good understanding on every useful gun in the wild west. Which, with a bit of knowledge, you can create a custom loadout based on your playstyle. Also, with a good loadout will require some basic consistent aim. I can't really give you a full-fledged guide on how to master aiming in every game because that would take hours to explain. That's why I've released my own ebook that will help you master any FPS game. Yes, it will help you master any first-person shooter game. It goes over several things like the impact of health, proper mindset, creating your own playstyle, aim training, how to think outside of the box, learning from your enemy. Basically, it covers everything you need to know to get good in any shooter game. Link is in the description. So far, I've revealed you 5 things that you should know before the progression update. But I kept the best for last. Some of you may know a little about this information, but you're certainly not sure it was coming. Remember the old yee ass game passes? where each one of them felt like a complete scam and a waste of money. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they are getting changed in the progression update. In the progression update, some old useless game passes like the Dread Pirate, VIP, Mayor, Hitman are respectively being revamped and improved upon. Each one of them will now have their own special abilities. And I don't know the future, nor can I predict it. But some of the game pass prices might increase after being improved. So I recommend you guys to buy one or two of them beforehand. By doing this, you'd be one of the first players to enjoy the new game pass guns i have personally bought all of them because yeah wild west is most likely the only game i play on roblox you can have your own likings and dislikings and speaking of likings ladies and gentlemen i believe you have forgotten to leave a like on this video which makes me very <laughs>